It's a first since the depths of the 2008 financial crisis. On Wednesday, the United States Federal Reserve cut interest rates by a quarter of a point, lowering the federal funds rate to a target range of 2 percent to 2 and a quarter percent. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell described it as a preventative move. The outlook for the U.S. economy remains favorable, and this action is designed to support that outlook. It is intended to ensure against downside risks from weak global growth and trade policy uncertainty, to help offset the effects these factors are currently having on the economy, and to promote a faster return of inflation to our symmetric 2 percent objective. Two of the Fed's regional presidents voted against a rate cut, citing the expanding economy, very low unemployment rates, and robust consumer spending. Lowering interest rates is typically saved for dire economic times, as it can lead to risky lending. But President Donald Trump wanted a bigger cut to lower the chances the economy will weaken. As usual, Powell let us down, but at least he is ending quantitative tightening, which shouldn't have started in the first place. No inflation. We are winning anyway, but I am certainly not getting much help from the Federal Reserve. The effect of a rate cut is not always direct or immediate, but everyday Americans could see home and auto loans become a little cheaper. The biggest potential impact of this cut, however, may be one you don't see, heading off a recession.